One of the greatest pleasures that is mine as the president of Bishop McNamara High School is to have the privilege and honor of presenting the highest award that this Holy Cross institution can bestow upon a graduating senior woman. To be named Woman of the Year is to be honored and recognized before your family, your faculty, your friends, and the school community. It is a moment in time when all of your years of service and leadership, scholarship, and faith-filled citizenship and hard work is publicly commended. The senior woman whom we honor today embodies in every way the requisites of this prestigious Woman of the Year Award. An exemplary student, our 2009 Woman of the Year, is a summa cum laude graduate. She is a member of the National Honor Society and the Tri-M Music Honor Society and serves as an officer in the Moreau Honor Society as well as the Bishop McNamara Student Council. She is a member of the Morning WMAC News Team, School Mission Team, Pep Band, and serves with distinction as a student ambassador for the school. She is a varsity softball player. Her energy and leadership, personal integrity, and faith witness have made her a most beloved and respected member of this school community that she has served so faithfully and so well. She has represented Bishop McNamara High School community at local and national student leadership conferences, and her energy and enthusiasm is boundless. Our 2009 Woman of the Year's truest legacy as a Bishop McNamara student has been her faith, energetic leadership, and unimpeachable personal integrity. Whether she is tutoring young children in a homeless shelter, working in a local soup kitchen, or helping with a food drive, her energy, leadership, and compassion has set a level of service by which those yet to come will measure themselves. The 2009 Woman of the Year gives much of the credit for her achievements and success to her Bishop McNamara community. It was within these walls, she says, that she learned never to accept defeat and to never let fear prevent her from having the courage to dream. Her gifts, she says, are a gift from God. What she will choose to do with them will be her gift back to him. It is therefore the opinion of this faculty and administration that this young woman, who has been awarded over $289,000 in academic base scholarship and will be attending King's College in the fall of 2009, has much to offer the world, and even at this young age, has set a standard of service, scholarship, leadership, and character that will inspire and challenge those that will come after her. Ladies and gentlemen, will you join me as we call forth and honor our 2009 Bishop McNamara High School Woman of the Year, Miss Allison Baumgartner.